So yeah, Dan, thanks. actually, let me jump in there. Yes, um, please. This, like everything else we're discussing on privacy, has a million options, right? I think we're really doing ourselves a disservice when we frame this as sue over nothing or sue over everything. Um, and we're looking more into this, and I was surprised to find that, um, you know, every state has a mini FTC Act, right? They have their own unfair and deceptive practices. All 50 of them have a private right of action. And literally every state you can sue. Now, they're all over the map, right? Some are incredibly narrow, and they're very hard to sue under. Some are very broad. Um, but they're a good example that Congress could make a lot of decisions to dial this in to make sure the suits are over what they want, right? The most important things and the consequences for losing a suit and by making decisions about what the harm is, right? Um, what are the fines? Is there fee shifting? Um, are there deadlines? Is there an administrative review first? I mean, all these different options can go into creating some way for people to still assert their rights because it's a very serious decision to say people cannot have access to an entire branch of government. So we'll be doing more thinking on this, but um, I just want to remind people, this is a very sophisticated sort of issue where you can really change a lot of factors and scope this in any way you want. And, and talk a little bit about, uh, for, for, for the audience, but, uh, some of the things that you've proposed that are in your legislative language about permissible use or, or permissible, I mean, now we're sort of sounding like FCRA, but I know you've given a lot of thought to areas of, I mean, Areas of information that should be protected, or and and, and, and protected more than I mean, maybe this is part to Gabrielle, Gabrielle's point as well. But what do you see those those areas of, of information, or how do you see it being? How do you see that that playing out from the from the CDT perspective? Sure. So we think there are things you could sort of whitelist, essentially, right? And um, Consumers are actually very forgiving. They understand a lot of things have to happen with their data to offer a service, right? They understand you have to verify who people are and you have to keep the system safe and you have to test it to make sure it works and improve it. And that universe of offering the service that someone actually signed up for, you need to whitelist this. Mm -hmm. um, and I am a big fan of actually making that list though and not sort of sticking a catch-all in there. It, it's hard to come up with that list, but I think um, we've seen it in draft legislation already. Um, pieces of it are in GDPR. Um, but what's on the no-go for us is things like um, repurposing data for sensitive data like biometrics, location information, health data, kids' information. And we think these are the types of data sets that are so sensitive and always will be right? Biometrics are always going to be sensitive, doesn't matter what they are. I saw an article a few weeks ago that um, the Defense Department is now finding ways to track people's heartbeats, right? So who knows uh, in 20 years what the next biometric will be, though, but they'll always be sensitive. So it's fair to say, yes, you can use it if someone signs up for a service that is actually relevant and uses biometrics, but you can't collect it, share it, or use it for unrelated purposes. Um, I know it's been criticized as being actually kind of a narrow solution, but we would rather be clear on some of these incredibly important issues um, than to leave everything up. Because I mean, that's the flip side, right, of what I'm afraid of the litigation is gonna be over the next 10 years, is that our law is so vague and leaves so much to balancing tests that we will not know what our digital rights are, right, yeah. for another 10 or 20 years. So we would like to see that sort of clear whitelist, blacklist, um, we know they're going to be short, but they're worth doing. 